Becton Regional High School quarterback Kareem Royster still remembers the day clearly. He just gotten tackled after a broken play and hit his head on the turf. During a timeout, coaches and trainers looked him over and asked him a few questions. Where are you? Who are you? Etc. And he seemed okay, so they sent him back on the field. But after the game on the bus, that's when his head started pounding, the light piercing, and the sounds around him amplified to painful levels. I actually couldn't even drive home. I had to have my friend drive me my car and drop me off at my house. And uh, I took a shower, and I just couldn't do anything. My head hurt. So my mom took me to the hospital and found out that I had concussion. While pro players and even college athletes benefit from the best medical staff and years of experience, high schoolers don't get the same advantage. With the Super Bowl set for this weekend in New Jersey, Congressman Bill Pascrell and Senator Bob Menendez want to shine some light on concussions and traumatic brain injuries among student athletes, especially in these days of tight high school budgets. Few high schools have the necessary resources to keep their students af athletes as safe as possible. As a result, studies have shown that as many as 41% of high school athletes return to the field before their brain has an opportunity to heal from a previous concussion. The Concussion Treatment and Care Tools Act, known by the acronym CONTACT, makes $5 million in grants available to states for professional development for coaches and trainers to help them create best practices for recognizing and treating victims of concussions. Today, the NFL officially joined the team supporting the bill. It's a broader effort that's going to take not just the help of the NFL, not just the help of the senator and congressman, but everyone. Uh, and that's really, I think, the main point of this particular bill, which is to ensure that people understand the best practices. And I think once you have that, then a lot can follow from that. We have sent our youngsters out, guys and gals, into the sports arena, both scheduled and unscheduled, not properly equipped or trained many times to play pretty tough sports. President Obama recently said he would not allow a son of his to play football. The lawmakers here say every parent has that choice to make, but hope that their bill will add a layer of protection beyond equipment to allow young people to stay in the game and to stay healthy. For NJTV News, I'm David Cruz.